Hello yogis and welcome to today's practice. This class is focused on neck, wrists, and feet. So go ahead and grab a block and maybe a blanket. I'm sitting on my blanket, it's folded flat so that my pelvis can lift and tilt forward and help lengthen my spine. If you know you have tighter hips, that might be a nice thing to sit upon. So go ahead and come to a comfortable seat. You can sit cross-legged like I'm doing or kneeling if that feels better. Take a moment, drop in, close your eyes. Let's find our breath together. Breathe in. Offer it up, exhale, breathe out. <sighs> Good, blink your eyes open to a soft gaze. We'll start off with something super simple. Bow your chin towards your chest and stretch out the back of your neck and then return back through more of a neutral spine. Now lift your chin away from your chest, stretch out through the throat, and then exhale, come back through center. Continue, drop your chin towards your chest, stretch out through the back of your neck, back through center, and then lift your chin away from your chest, stretch out through the throat, and back through center. Do that a few more times. You can keep going at the pace we set, or make it a little bit more seamless and move from one direction to the other without pausing. And you'll start to notice maybe you're getting, you're getting some relief in the backs of the shoulders, the front of your neck. Maybe you're just becoming more aware of your body in space and the sensations that accompany this gentle, subtle, simple movement. Okay, once you're done with that, come on back through center and then turn your head to the right. Look over your right shoulder and then return to neutral. Look to the left and back through center. Again, to the right, center, to the left, center. Once again, a couple more times and maybe you make it more seamless. Seamless, look right, center, left, center, and then maybe a little bit faster to the right and to the left. Don't overthink it, it's real simple. To the right and to the left. Great, come back through center. Now bring your chin towards your chest again, stretch out the back of your neck. Half circles, bring your right ear towards your right shoulder and stretch out the left side of your neck. And then come back through center. Bring your left ear towards your left shoulder Stretch out the right side of your neck and center. Do that again, right ear toward your right shoulder. Stretch out to the left side of your neck and center. To the left, stretch to the right and center. Now full circle, right ear towards your right shoulder. Maybe let the head fall back, stretch the front of your neck. To the left, left ear, left shoulder, and then chin towards your chest. Switch directions, left ear towards the left shoulder. Let the head fall back, open the throat. Right ear, right shoulder, chin to chest. Let's do that in each direction one more time. Right ear, right shoulder, head falls back. Left ear, left shoulder, chin towards your chest. One more to the left, take it slow. Left ear, left shoulder. Open the throat, look up. Right ear, right shoulder. Chin towards your chest. And then come on back to a neutral position. Good, a couple shoulder shrugs, lift your shoulders by your ears. And then roll the shoulders back down. Bring your shoulders by the ears and maybe roll the shoulders forward and down. And then maybe one shoulder at a time, forward and back, back and forward. And then just start to kind of shake out the shoulders a little bit. And then we'll take the hands behind us and switch out the cross of your legs. That is if you are cross-legged. If you're kneeling, you can just stay where you are. Adding on again, inhale, arms circle wide up and overhead. Float the arms alongside your body. Turn the palms away from you. Interlace your grip behind your lower back and then extend your arms towards straight, press the knuckles towards the earth and lift the heart towards the sky. From there, bend both elbows and take your clasp somewhere near your right hip, outside of the hip or close to it. The right elbow is going to naturally splay out. You'll hug your right elbow into the side of your body. 
Okay, take an inhalation. And then exhale, draw your right ear towards your right shoulder and stretch out the left side of your neck. Pause there, breathe in. Breathe out. Stay with that or bring your chin gently towards your chest. Breathe in. Slight angle there, breathe out. Maybe that's interesting to you, you can stay or tilt your chin away from your chest. Breathe in. Breathe out. Perfect, release that. Just circle right arm alongside your ear. Bend your right elbow and hold on to your left ear with your right hand. The left hand can either float off of the mat or you can lower your fingertips down to something. Take an inhalation. And then as you exhale, gently press into your right hand onto your left ear and stretch through the left side of your neck. Pause there, breathe in. Exhale, breathe out. Go ahead and release the right arm. To release this, bring your chin towards your chest again and then come on back through center. Good, other side, inhale, arms wide up and overhead. Float the arms alongside your body. Turn your palms away from you. Interlace your grip behind your lower back. Press the knuckles towards the earth as you extend your arms towards straight, lift through the heart, and bend both elbows. Bring your clasp outside of your left hip. Left elbow is gonna splay out. You hug your left elbow in towards the left side of your body. Take an inhalation, sit tall. And now exhale, left ear comes towards the left shoulder. So you stretch through the right side of your neck. Pause, breathe in. Breathe out. Again, if that's more than enough for you, you can stay or play with the variation. Bring your chin maybe towards your chest. Take another breath, breathe in. Breathe out, notice how that feels. Maybe bring your chin away from your chest. Look up, breathe in. Breathe out, good, release the clasp, sit tall, and now it's just the left arm that reaches up and overhead. You'll bend your left elbow and hold onto your right ear with your left hand. Sit tall, breathe in. And then exhale, lean left ear towards your left shoulder, right arm floats out wide or it rests, right fingertips to the floor. Close your eyes or soften your gaze, breathe in. Stretch the right side of your neck again, breathe out. Beautiful team, good, release the left arm. Bring your chin towards your chest for the full release and then sit up nice and tall. Well done. Again, maybe a couple of shoulder shrugs, bring some mobility, some blood flow back into the shoulders, and then just a little bobblehead shake, alleviating any residual tension in the neck and shoulders. Finally, circle your arms wide up and overhead, bend your elbows, interlace your grip, or just stack your palms behind your head and offer your neck a little traction, press, Head into hands, hands back into your head. Well done, and then release. Good, adding on for the wrists, come onto hands and knees. Now I'm gonna take my blanket and unfold it so I have a little bit more padding for my knees. Of course, if you don't need that, you don't have to add it. But if you like it, add it as you like, and then come on to hands and knees. So for wrist stretches, we'll start off turning the fingertips out toward the edges of the space. So you're basically acting like your hands are suction cups. You're pushing down through the hands and then keeping your arms straight, maybe start to rock a little bit side to side, starting to feel perhaps some more mobility in the wrist joint. It might feel nice to circle your body in one direction, but keep spreading through all 10 fingers. I mean, maybe you go the other direction, circle the other way two or three times whatever timing works for you. And then you can stay there or we keep going. <clears throat> turn your fingertips towards your knees. The thumbs will turn out towards the sides of your mat and the fingertips will face you. And instead of rocking side to side here, you're gonna rock forward a little bit and then back a little bit. The level of intensity is totally dependent on the practitioner. So be honest with yourself. If it feels like a big grand movement is too much, then trust that instinct, right? You don't need to make this 
that extreme in order to feel sensation. Usually I feel this quite a bit because in yoga asana, we bear a lot of weight on our wrists and this is allowing for some wrist extension. A nice complement to oftentimes what we do when we weight bear is wrist flexion. So alleviating some of the tension that we build up in the wrists. Good. Third exercise here, palms will face up. Fingertips are gonna face the center of the mat. Spread through the fingers wide, keep the arms straight, and then make little fists with your hands and then spread the fingers wide. Think of this like flashing lights. Make a fist and then flash your fingers wide. Do that a couple more times. Fist, flash, fist, flash. Maybe you pick up the pace. It's kind of awkward, but I know it works to alleviate some tension in the wrists. Ooh, it can be intense for sure. How about three more? On your own time, release that. Now last exercise here, turn your palms to face up, but the fingertips are gonna face your knees. I like to think of this like gorilla pose. Palms are facing up. Fingertips can spread wide, but I like to make little fists with my hands. So imagine you like are a gorilla. And then either stay here, pressing into the backs of your hands. This is definitely a lot already. Or you press your hips towards your heels. It maybe is like a micro inch a centimeter or maybe an inch or two or three. Energy presses back as you continue to press down to the backs of your hands and feel that release in the wrists for three, for two, and one. Whew, well done, that was a lot. Go ahead and gently shake out the wrists. Nicely done, yogis. If you have the blanket, go ahead and fold it up and move it off to the side. We're gonna now do toes pose. So let me just show you facing away from you. So your toes are together, your um, toes are tucked, and you'll actually take your fingers to your toes so you ensure that your toes are spreading wide. You're working your heels towards one another, but the heels might naturally splay out. If that is way too much for you, you can take a block. I like to sit on the middle setting of the block. Take your feet outside of the edges of the block and then you'll sit down on the block. You know, it's different for everyone, so just trust yourself. So take that position. It's called toes pose. Pretty intense, but really good for our plantar fascia. fascia. Plantar fascia. Pan plantar. It's kind of intense, but it's really good for our plantar fascia to alleviate any tension in the soles of your feet. Okay, more wrist work. Take fists out into the space in front of you and then just roll out the wrists. Just a couple times, all different directions. It doesn't really matter which direction you take it. Let it be intuitive. You can circle in, you can circle out, you can make little figure eights. Good, okay, when you've exhausted that, make fists again, flashing lights. Fists, flash, fists, flash. Couple times, and again, maybe you pick up the pace. Keep your arms straight and just flash the fingers. Flash them. Yes, you'll start to feel some fire building in your wrist joint, in your forearms, and certainly in your arms, holding your arms out. Okay, last three. Two, and one, release. Shake it out, well done. Interlace your grip now, flip the palms out into the space in front of you, extend your arms straight up and overhead, sit up tall, breathe in. As you breathe out, release the grip and circle out the wrists, relax your arms alongside your body. Last time, interlace your grip the other way if you can remember, Extend your arms towards straight. Reach your arms straight up and overhead. Sit up tall, lengthen. And then again, circle the arms, relax the wrists, circle it out. Well done, yogis. Maybe you forgot about your feet. <laughs> In that case, let's lean forward. You'll come forward onto your hands and your knees. Untuck your toes and then pat the tops of your feet a couple times on the floor. Be nice to yourself if this feels like it's a lot. Give yourself some gentle touches, gentle taps. 
that might be enough for you. Or I recommend bringing your knees and toes together. Toes are untucked. You'll sit back, hips towards your heels, and some of you might feel comfortable to lean back on your fingertips, bend your elbows, and then lift your knees up off the mat. Stretch out through the shins, through the tops of your ankles. You don't really have to go very far to feel this one. Breathe in. Breathe out. Stay there for as long as you like or release. Knees and shins to the earth. And then relax your arms alongside your body. Come into embryo pose. Bow forward, chin or forehead to the earth. Breathe in. Breathe out. <sighs> Good. Go ahead and roll on up to seated. You can scoot off to your side, return to kneeling or cross-legged position, whatever feels good for you. Well done, yogis. I hope you enjoyed this practice today. I hope you feel a little bit more awakened in your neck region, in your wrists, and certainly in your feet. I look forward to seeing you again on the mat soon. Have a lovely day. Namaste.